I hope you're doing well. You've made it to the halfway point of the course where we have our first exam on algebra. Uh, so this video is going to provide solutions to each of the questions in the algebra exam review, question by question, uh, posted separately so you can review the ones you need to and the ones you understand, you don't need to see those. So uh, my suggestion is that the best way to prepare for the algebra exam on top of already working through all the topics because the exam questions come right out of the topics you've worked on. Uh, there's, I think, 20 questions. Um, and we've created the algebra exam review to contain at least all the questions that are in the exam. Many of the questions will help support your understanding of those. Uh, but we've chosen the most um, important questions to understand to be on this exam. So I'm going to switch over to the view of uh, Alex. So you should see something like this. Now you won't see 181. I just I was able to do that by clicking a switch. Uh, but I want to show you how you get into the exam review. So you'll click on this drop down menu here. This is the way you can get in many things. You can get into your reports. Uh, what you should see in your reports uh, is one of the things I'll show you is uh, you can view your objectives where they're at. Um, and again, it'll show you which ones you've got completed. Uh, you may have completed some weeks, but then with the knowledge check, you may have had some topics that were recycled. It would be good at this time also to pick those up. Uh, but that's one report you can look at. And then to actually go in and do the review, what you're going to want to do is click on Assignments. Oh, one more thing. I guess if, if you did have some to learn, you would go to the Learn. Uh, notice I've got them all. This uh, has them all there. Review works similarly, except review, you only get to see ones you've already done. But the Learn, you would see ones that you have yet to learn. But let me go here. I'll show you the process works the same from here. It's called a double drop down. You do this drop down arrow and in a moment this one will come up. You can actually go back to previous uh, items if you were in the learn mode and it would only show the ones that you had not learned yet and then you could jump into them and any topic that you had not learned would would be here. You can jump from one to the other. It shows what the, what's there. So this also is a good way to review uh, if you, even though you've learned one and maybe you've mastered them, this is also another way you can go back and review particular uh, topics that were um, more difficult for you. Okay, but let's go ahead and get on to the uh, algebra review. So you go to the uh, assignments and then you'll see review for algebra exam. You'll get us started. It's untimed. You can take it as many times as you want. Notice uh, it gives you partial credit. It'll take the best score. Uh, although the score does not come uh, go into your grade book, doing well on this will help you do well on the exam. Uh, students that work this to 100% will always score up in the 80s to 90s to 100 because the questions come right out of this. Okay, so let's go to start. And what you can see is you'll be able to jump around from question to question. There's 40 of them. Uh, you can stop at any time. Um, and once you're done, you'll, you can submit the assignment. Now you will not be able to do anything else in, in Alex until you do submit it. So while you're working on it, if you wanna go back and do something else, uh, you'll need to submit it and it'll tell you, hey, you didn't need any questions. You go, okay, I know. Submit it. Um, it gives you a report. And since I didn't answer any questions, I got everything wrong. But the thing is, is if I did have some right, they, I wouldn't be able to access them anymore. The ones that are wrong, I can go back and rework them and not do that by doing a quick retake. Okay, so I can go ahead and start that quick retake and this time I will work through it. I'll start with the first question and go forward. This is just an introduction. Um, 
from here on in, I'm going to do separate uh, brief videos, hopefully brief, uh, maybe five minutes, whatever's needed uh, of each question so that you can jump from question to question as you need uh, in going through your review. Thank you and good luck.